So, um, I think my interest lies in um, yeah, this question of home and uh, what it means. Um, you know, where do you feel at home? What constitutes as home? And uh, uh, I think in this project, that's kind of one of the things which for me is quite a strong point. Um, and it's um, not just in terms of working with uh, uh, Chatsu and Chacha, but I think with everybody who gets involved in this project and including knowing what the work you've done in the community here. So um, the neighbors, you know, the school, the Wat and the ice cream shop and all of these people. Uh, I, one of my early conversations uh, with you, it was in a way, it made it quite clear to me that we're all like from somewhere else, living somewhere else. And I, this, this really interests me. Um, and in today's world, that is true of so many people, you know, and as a community, we are trying to, yeah, build, build something together, what is important in our daily life. My interest is really, um, mapping is something I've always been uh, interested in and I'm not, um, I mean there's one thing about geographical maps which are really very scientifically correct and give you all the data but then there's this whole another thing of like a, a mental map or a memory map. Um, very much to do with us as individuals and uh, our stories and it's kind of like um, a, a story of, uh, of space and time um, and going back to perhaps childhood, going back to early memories, um, you know, which something which geographical maps actually don't tell you uh, the the story of the individual so it's really about community mapping as well in a way it's like um, giving um, uh, uh, about an individual saying here I am this is my story and this is where I am on the map so it's a map a plan a document if you like um, and um, what I'm interested in is, you know, um, we have stories which are, it's basically about what could be a, a childhood memory that talks about uh, really something that impacted on you as, and, uh, and uh, tells in the way you are today. Um, it's the journey, you know, certainly with uh, many of us, um, we probably also have heard stories about our um, uh, grandparents coming from one place and how they traveled and what they encountered you know um, so for instance on on a geographical map you'll have the mountains and rivers uh, but on a when a person's story is told about the same terrain of going from point A to point B and you're crossing over that mountain or the river but it's there is this more of a personal angle of how you traversed it, you know, how, whether you met with, uh, what difficulties you met with, or how easy it was, or how different it was, what it made you feel. Um, so yeah, uh, for, me, for me the interesting uh, factor is that they're part of this group, um, and what we understand, uh, or how we place them in this, this group, uh, and how they place themselves in this group are like two different things. So this for me is an interesting point, which is something that I, I think will, will be revealed in time to come with more interaction perhaps towards the end of the project and with the other interactions that take place. Um, and in a way my interest is, uh, you know, not, not just to, to only uh, include them as part of this conversation but to include everybody who is in this group um, uh, including part of this surrounding community some members of the community because 
I feel like I, I, it's, it's all of us together. It's, I don't want to particularly just pick them out as kind of like examples, you know, they're not. Uh, but for me, it's also, for me what is interesting is, uh, of course, their own personal story. Uh, and um, also, um, you know, the material I'm working with, I'm actually very interested to see how uh, instinct instinctively how uh, they react to what I am offering. Because what I have picked to work with in terms of the material is, for me it was important to connect it to my own background, if you like, for my own culture, you know, it, it, to connect the, uh, this thing of India, Burma, or Myanmar, and Thailand. Um, and then tie it up with a larger story of migration and migrants. And so, yeah, so this was for me uh, an interesting angle. So, um, one, of, one of the things that actually um, is very exciting is uh, to, to talk with them about uh, the possibility of making a memory map and um, asking them to, to uh, uh, start to write down uh, what, you know, what they remember of their own childhoods, about the place they came from, how, where they grew up, uh, about the journey they took to come over into Thailand and what difficulties they might have faced, um, how easy it was, uh, where, where, where did they feel comfortable when they arrived here. Um, and um, when, um, you know, coming here today and to actually see what they have done um, is really, um, really wonderful, really exciting. Um, and um, uh, also then introducing them to uh, the palm leaf, uh, which is what I'm, uh, I'm, I would like to work with, I would like everybody to work with, uh, is, is something that's been quite, quite interesting to introduce. Um, so why I kind of pick on the palm leaf idea is, again, this, uh, when I started to look at uh, stories about migration, I came across um, uh, a document which talked about the palm tree, uh, the coconut palm, particularly how, you know, and I kind of um, thought, you know, like the coconuts are probably the biggest migrants of the world. And this kind of idea captivated my mind. And um, next thing I was kind of suddenly looking at palm, you know, came to mind was palm leaf manuscripts. And this is like the oldest for us. Uh, the old writing material, the old material to record, uh, start to record what was, um, yeah, start to record what were like oral histories uh, and oral discourses onto this, what grew in our backyard. And this was the palm, palm tree. And so using the palm leaf to create these documents and we went to this um, museum the, the Mon Museum here and we saw those lovely old palm leaf uh, manuscripts and so all of these things started to connect in my mind and it was for me how to find a way of connecting with uh, uh, with, with everyone in the project Cha, uh, Cha, Cha and Cha Tzu as well you know their history their cultural history mine uh, yours you know, here, and um, the palm leaf manuscript is such a strong bond we share. Uh, and so I started to do research about finding it here um, and how to work with it. And introducing it like today for the first time and wondering how they would take to it, uh, how everybody would actually take to it, uh, was, was a question. but. It's interesting because it's almost like instinctive uh, that you start to make scratches uh, because you actually etch on it, engrave on it, and so it 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 comes it it comes it came quite easily, um, and I think it 
I, I think they find it exciting to, to work with. Um, so we'll see what comes out of it.